depending on who occupies that position at any given time. This is the case of Honorable Justice Mary Ukaegu Peter, who diligently retired, who assumed the chairmanship of the body a year ago. Her tenor witnessed tremendous innovations in the running of the affairs of the body of ventures. One of such innovation is the setting up of the management committee comprising of all chairmen of the various committees of the body of ventures, whom I'm representing here tonight. This committee set up by our going chairman afforded us the opportunity to harmonize in our policies and to also collaborate with each other in making sure that we had a smooth running at the body of ventures. Honorable Justice Peter Dili will also be remembered for her proactive approach to issues. I will recall and recollect that she stands out in recent times to be one of the chairmen who took several visits out of her office to go and meet other key players in the justice sector to discuss and to find solutions to some of the lingering problems that was affecting the legal profession in general. And one of such visit was when she led the management team to the office of the Chief Justice of Nigeria, my Lord Justice Oluka Yogyariwola. And I recall on that day, behind closed doors, we were able to talk frankly. And I recollect Baba Omori saying, look, we are here today. Let us look at each other eye to eye and discuss frankly where the problems are. And I think by the time we all left that meeting, we were very satisfied and fulfilled. One of such proactive steps taken by the outgoing chairman also was when we paid a visit to the Honorable the Attorney General of the Federation, Prince Latif Fagbimi SA. At that meeting, the welfare of Judges and justices were discussed. The Lingering Legal Practitioners Act was also discussed. And I'm sure you all know the social media and the print media is agog with the news that the president sent a bill to the National Assembly to review the salaries of judicial officers. And we hope that bill having been passed, um, the appropriate steps by both the executive and the legislature will be taken to ensure that the well-being of our judges have finally been addressed. These are some of the numerous proactive steps taken by my Lord Justice Peter Mary Jess. <clears throat> Let me conclude by saying that her candor and courage, her humility and diplomatic approach to issues tabled before the body of Avengers and dared her to all of us. For the benchers who are here, you can see that at our meetings, even though relaxed, thorny issues were being discussed, but the manner in which we resolve and everybody feels happy as it boosts to her leadership style. 
And I say again, thank you for proving. As you leave the state, I'm sure you will be remembered for your giant strides in reshaping the body of ventures, making it more relevant, making it more proactive, and you are leaving behind and taken over by another person who also, I believe, having regards to his experience and background, will follow your footsteps, and the body of ventures will be the body to beat by anybody. His Excellency, you may be wondering what this body is all about. As you can see, it's a composition of every tier of the legal profession and system in this country, from both the executive, from the legislature, and from the judiciary. So that is one of the most unique institutions in this country. And for you to be the chairman and for you to pilot the affairs successfully, it attests your great qualities and sterling character as a human being. My Lord, Justin Peter Billy, you have discharged your wondrous assignment dutifully and on. A very distinguished guest, that you forgive me for my failure to adequately recognize me. So I deem all protocols duly observed. I feel very honored and privileged to be called upon to make a comment about a very, very distinguished personality in Nigeria, an accomplished jurist of the Nigerian nation. She started as an exceptional legal practitioner, went to the bench through the ranks, retired as a chief as a Justice of the Supreme Court. My Lord is an outstanding judicial officer. She spent over four decades in the judiciary, serving the great nation, Nigeria. As a symbol of the timeless qualities of judicial fortitude, diligence and argument, the Honorable Justice Mary Ukiego Peter Odili, CFR JRC retired, Chairman, Body of Ventures stepping out, Member Special DSSR. At the body of ventures, at the helm of affairs of the body of ventures, my Lord consistently met the demands and responsibilities of her office, serving as an inspiration for aspiring and established legal practitioners and judicial officers. The many innovations and achievements of my Lord cannot be fully enumerated. But permit me to particularly mention something that is outstanding. My Lord has pulled a great crowd unprecedented through her one year of service. She records one of the largest crowd at the meetings of the body of ventures and also the call to the bar. She presided over two calls. Although her term of office is one year, she presided over two calls in two years to show her unique position. And thank you. My Lord also made the list of the first three women who broke the glass ceiling at the apex court. She 
she is not one to stay alone at the top. After her, she pulled up several other women. And as a testimony to her generosity of heart, my Lord was able to guide 197 young women to come out top of their class in the law school, in the last uh, course. They came up with first class. And above all, the best graduating student was a lady, and I'm in art. I'm not excluding the men, but I'm just saying that women should be given more chance. Well, my Lord did not wait for men to give us. She took it and gave it to us. My Lord is an exceptional leader. And as you can see, although she retired at the age of 70, she looks 45. And she's not tired. That's why she had all the energy to do all that she did. And is moving on. My Lord is now a member of the NJC and also the full chancellor of the University of um, River State. And the feathers keep coming and counting. So, my Lord, I feel most honored to be associated with you. I'm very proud of you. I admire you. I've always admired you. I've always wondered at your exceptional beauty. And you carry the grace. So, thank you very much. I wish you the very best. And all your aspirations shall continue to be fulfilled to the glory of God Almighty. Thank you. I have poured out my heart already in this pamphlet. If you have a copy, then you should go to that page and see how I feel about our chairman. I, of course, started by saying that uh, I'm a member of the orderly family. I'm glad that all the people who had spoken, except Daniel, who has just admitted himself into the family, I'm the only one that claimed to be a member of this family. Now, of course, there are many notorious names from the southern Nigeria, but some for good, some not so good. Checking out Symphony on YouTube. Please be sure to subscribe and like our videos for updates.